10.30. Once on a time, the exalted one was staying near Savati in Jeta Grove in Anatha Pindika Spa. On that occasion, the Raja, King Pasanadi of Kosala, had just returned from a sham fight, having been victorious and, uh, and attained his object. Then the Raja or King turned in the direction of the park. So far as the cart road went, he rode in his chariot and then got down and reached the residence. Now at that time, a number of monks were walking up and down in the open air. Then Pasanadi, the Raja of Kosala, went towards those monks and on reaching them, thus accosted them. Pray or please, your reverences, where now is the exalted one staying, that Arahan, Samasambuddha, I long to behold that exalted one. And they said, Yonder is his lodging, Maharaja, with the door shut. Do you go up quietly without nervousness? Enter the veranda, cough and rattle the door bar. The exalted one will open the door to you. And just stop here to comment, eh? This Buddha was a citizen of the country of Kosala and the king of Kosala was Pasanadi. Uh, sometimes people say that the Buddha's father was the king. That is not true. The Buddha's father was not the king of the country. King of the country was Pasanadi uh, king. Buddha's father was just a member of the warrior caste. In the same case, uh, you have many people belonging to the uh, warrior caste or the noble family eh? and the Buddha's father was just one of them. So this Pasanadi uh, king, King Pasanadi, he was a disciple of the Buddha. So uh, in his old age, eh, uh, he came to see the Buddha. Actually, there is a very similar sutta to this eh, in the Majjima Nikaya, middle length discourses, uh, and that is Majjima Nikaya number 89, called the Dhamma Chetya Sutta. There uh, is a bit longer than the description here, and it's a very beautiful sutta. But this one, because uh, it appears here, i read it for you all to read or to understand also. So you see, if you want to see a monk, uh, you go to his kuti or his hut, uh, you hear the, the monks advise the king, he cough, cough and rattle the door bar or you knock. Uh, there are some people, they come to visit a monk, uh, they, without knocking, without making any sound, they open the door and go in. It's a bit uh, ill-mannered. Uh, it's good manners, you want to enter the kuti of a monk, you knock first, uh, uh, make some sound, cough and knock. Uh, so the Raja Pasanadi of Kosala went up to the lodging as he was told, coughed and rattled the door bar, and the exalted one opened the door. Then Pasanadi the king entered the lodging, fell with his head at the feet of the exalted one, kissed his feet and stroked them with his hands, and announced his name, saying, Sir, I am Pasanadi the Raja of Kosala, Pasanadi the Raja of Kosala and I. I stop here for a moment. Eh? Um, it is an uh, Indian custom uh, that when a lay person uh, uh, pays respect to a monk, uh, he puts his head uh, at the feet of the monk. Uh, even some uh, Sri, Sri Lankans also do that. Uh. Uh, even in Malaysia, uh, once in a long time, uh, sometimes uh, I meet an Indian, Indian lay person, sometimes they also do this. Uh, they, they, they touch your... your feet uh, with their head uh, of respect. So this king, uh, he had such great respect for the Buddha. He put his head uh, at the, fe uh, the feet of the Buddha and stroked the Buddha's feet. Uh. Then the Buddha said, But Maharaja, seeing what significance therein, do you show me this profound humility and pay such affectionate veneration to this body of mine? <clears throat> and he said, to show my gratitude, sir, to show my thankfulness to the exalted one. 
<coughs> do I show this profound humility and pay such affectionate veneration? So he said, to show my gratitude, sir, to show my thankfulness to the exalted one, do I show this profound humility and pay such affectionate veneration? For the exalted one, sir, is one who is set on the profit, on the happiness of many folk. He is one who establishes many folk in the Aryan knowledge, that is, conformity with the beneficial and good Dharma. Inasmuch as the Exalted One is such a one, that, sir, is why I show my gratitude, my thankfulness in this way. Then again, sir, the Exalted One is virtuous. He has the Buddha virtues, the Aryan, the goodly virtues. He is possessed of the goodly virtues. That is another reason for my showing this profound humility. Again, sir, the Exalted One has for many a day been a forest dweller, a haunter of forest solitudes, resorting to the solitary lodging of the forest. That is another reason. Yet again, sir, the Exalted One is well content with whatever offerings of robes and arms, food, lodging and bed, supply of medicines and requisites in sickness he may receive. That is another reason. And he is worshipful, worthy of honour, worthy of offerings, of salutations, with clasped hands. He is a field of merit, unsurpassed for the world. That, sir, is another reason. Yet again, sir, as regards talk that is serious, fit for opening up the mind, that is to say, talk about few ones, a wanting little, eh? about contentment, about aloofness, about seclusion, putting forth energy, talk about virtue, concentration of mind, wisdom, liberation, knowledge and vision of liberation. Such talk as this, the Exalted One gives at pleasure, without pain and without stint or stinginess. Since the Exalted One does this, that is a further reason. Then again, sir, the Exalted One attains at pleasure, without pain and without trouble, the four jhanas of meditative absorption, which are of the higher mind, a happy abiding in this same visible lifetime. Since the Exalted One does this, that is a further reason. Again, sir, the Exalted One can recall his manifold previous lifetimes. Thus, one birth, two births, three, ten, a hundred, up to a hundred thousand births, likewise through the diverse contracting world cycles, the diverse expanding world cycles, the diverse contracting and expanding world cycles. Remembering, at that time I had such a name, was of such a family, of such complexion, so supported, thus and thus experiencing weal and woe, of such and such a lifespan. I, thus deceasing, rose up again at that time. There too I had such a name, was of such a family, of such complexion, etc. Thus with all detail and characteristics, he can recall his manifold previous lifetimes. Since the Exalted One does this, that is another reason. Then again, sir, the Exalted One with the heavenly eye, purified and surpassing that of men, beholds beings deceasing and rising up again, beings both mean and excellent, fair and foul, gone to a happy rebirth, gone to an ill rebirth, according to their deeds, thus. These beings given to the practice of evil deeds, of evil words, of evil thoughts, scoffing at the Aryans, of perverted view, and reaping the fruit of their perverted view. These beings, when body broke up beyond death, rose up again in the waste, the ill-born, the downfall, in hell. Or those beings given to the practice of good deeds, of good words, of good thoughts, not scoffing at the Aryans, but of sound view, and reaping the fruit of the sound view. These beings, when body broke up beyond death, rose up again in the happy born, in the heaven world. Thus with the heavenly eye, purified and surpassing that of man, he beholds beings. Since the exalted one does this, that is another reason. Yet again, sir, by the destruction of the asavas, the exalted 
one and the same visible life attains the liberation by mind, the liberation by wisdom, himself acquiring it by his own comprehension and realizing it abides therein. Since the exalted one does so, seeing this significance do I thus show this profound humility and pay such affectionate veneration to the exalted one. Well now, sir, we must be going. We are busy folk and have much to do. And the Buddha said, Do what seems appropriate to you, Maharaja. So Pasanadi, the Raja of Kosala, rising from his seat, saluted the Exalted One, and keeping his right towards him, he departed. That's the end of the Sutta. So here, this Sutta is uh, about how the king uh, had such great respect for the Buddha. And he gave all the reasons uh, why he had such great respect for the Buddha. Uh, in the